Hallelujah to the mighty God. Praise Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, if you are listening to me for the first time, you are welcome. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Please subscribe, share the video, like it, and kindly listen to this message to the end. It will bless you, and I will make it short. Praise Jesus. Salvation will take you to heaven. Hallelujah. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. And verse 18 says, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not on him is condemned already, because he has not believed, hallelujah, in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Praise Jesus. You see, believing in Christ, then Romans 10, 9 says, If thou shalt confess with your mouth that Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God risen from the dead, you shall be saved. Salvation is as simple as that. Praise Jesus. But what we bring heaven down to you here on earth is revelation. And God desired that his will in heaven be done here on earth. But what we bring his will, what we bring, hallelujah, heaven down to you here on earth is revelation. You see, he said, our father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth, as it in heaven, that will be done on earth. Hallelujah. If you don't know the way of the father in heaven, how will you impose it here on earth? Revelation will open the windows of heaven to you. Revelation will, 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 will take you directly to the heart of God. Hallelujah. Revelation will give you confidence and boldness. Revelation will, revelation will strengthen your inner man. The way you will, be, you will pray will be different. You will pray with authority, with power. Hallelujah to the mighty God. Revelation is key in Matthew 16 from verse 15. When Jesus asked the disciples, Whom do men say that I am? And they said, Some say Elijah, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But Jesus now asked the disciples, Whom do you say I am? Peter responded, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus, Jesus said to Peter, Flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my Father, which is in heaven. You see, Jesus referred to that as revelation. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father, which is in heaven. And Jesus said to Peter, I shall give you the key of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Hallelujah. Whatsoever you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Jesus is saying to Peter, Hallelujah, you shall experience heaven. Based on that revelation, you shall experience heaven while you are here on earth. Because you shall be doing the same thing that is being done in heaven. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. And that is why the scriptures also says, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That truth is the revelation of who you are, the power that you have. Knowing fully that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you. Hallelujah. Knowing fully that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. When you know the truth, it will make you free. You see, some have revelation on some areas of their lives. They are free and enjoy liberty in that area. But, but some parts of their lives, they lack revelation. And as such, they are struggling. You see, praise Jesus. When the Bible says in Matthew 8, verse 17, after Jesus healed the the, the mother in law of Peter of his fever. And verse 17 said that it might be fulfilled. Hallelujah. That which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, that himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. So when you have that understanding, that truth, that Jesus has taken away your infirmity, say that himself took our infirmity, took that is past tense, then you will know that it is wrong for you to be sick. Praise Jesus. When you have that revelation that Jesus has taken away as he took it upon himself and nailed it to that cross. So why should you carry it again what Jesus has taken away for you? Pray Jesus. That based on that revelation, the way you command sickness out of your body, you will do it with authority. Hallelujah. And as such, you will, and you will live without sickness as it in heaven. Pray Jesus. Even the way you pray for the sick, you will pray with authority with the mandate of heaven that 
that it is wrong, illegal for anyone, any children, any child of God to be sick because Jesus has taken it away. And the Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the Lord. He made the cause for us, for it is written, cause is anyone hanging on the tree. Hallelujah. When you have the understanding, hallelujah, that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, by the same spirit which Jesus performed the miracles, that same spirit is in you, the Holy Ghost, which was why Jesus told the disciples to wait until the Holy Ghost come upon them. Because that is the power. Hallelujah. When you have the understanding that you yourself have that power, hallelujah, you will walk, hallelujah, you will be supernatural. Praise Jesus. You will not be ordinary. And the Bible says, Herein is our Lord made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. For as he is, so are we in this world. As Jesus is, so are we in this world. As you have the Spirit of God, as Jesus is, praise Jesus. That understanding will give you peace. We give you boldness, confidence. Hallelujah. Even while you're here on earth, you'll be declaring what is being done in heaven. You see, the key to breakthrough prayers is praying in the will of God. Hallelujah to the mighty God. Praise Jesus. Paul said in Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17, he said that the Lord may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him that your eyes of understanding may be enlightened, that you may know the hope to which he has called you. Hallelujah. He further said that you may know what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us that believe. Exceeding greatness of his power. Praise Jesus. Revelation will set you free from sickness. Hallelujah. Revelation will set you free from fear. Revelation will set you free from discouragement. Hallelujah. Revelation will set you free from afflictions. Revelation will set you free from all the harassment of the demons because you know who you are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The will of God is for us to impose what is being concluded in heaven, to impose it here on earth. Hallelujah. Because as we are the believers, we are the conductors of God's power to transmit the power of God to this wicked world. Hallelujah. Revelation is key. Run with this, with this message right now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Holy Spirit will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance whatsoever God has said to you. Pray Jesus. Revelation will illuminate you. We open your eyes of understanding. We give you, we, we, we empower you and give you the ability to travel into the future. Pray Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in First John, in, in John chapter 1, verse 12, it says, As men that have received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even unto them that believe in his name. Hallelujah. You see, the Bible also, where the Bible says, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. You see, that is the structure of the enemy that we are we are we are battling with. But it also in John chapter one, when he said, "As men that have received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, which were born." Hallelujah, verse thirteen, which were born, not of the blood, not of the will of the flesh, not of the will of man, but of God. But of God. So we also, we are born of God, not of the blood. And as we wrestle not against flesh and blood, you don't fight your battle in the flesh. Pray Jesus. You don't fight your battle in the flesh. You don't fight your battle with sentiment. Hallelujah. You fight your battle with revelation. Though we walk in the flesh, but we walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds, Hallelujah. Revelation will make you to declare the act of God. We make you to declare the will of God. We make you to stand firm in his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever you bind on earth here shall be bound in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that Lord will open your eyes of understanding 
in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be supernatural in all that you do in the name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere you go, may demons flee in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord strengthen you, hallelujah, with, with his might by his spirit in your inner man in the name of Jesus. Let your inner man receive fire right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the mighty God. I pray for you right now. Let the Lord give you the understanding of the scripture in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord strengthen you by his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the mighty God. Revelation will bring heaven to you. Hallelujah. Revelation will open the windows of heaven to you. Revelation will reveal the heart of God to you. Hallelujah. Revelation will give you authority, will empower you, equip you with authority to pray as someone that has been empowered by God. He said, I have given you power to trade upon serpent and scorpion and not the powers of the enemy and not each other enemies hurt you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Please, if you are listening to this message and you have not given your life to Christ and you like to do so, the end time is here. We all see what is going on all around us. Only in Christ that our life are secured. Hallelujah. We're going to live after this earth. And only through Jesus that we can get to the Father. Hallelujah. If you want to say yes to Christ right now, please say this short prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for a moment like this. I believe you are the Son of God. You died and God raised you from the dead. Have mercy upon me, forgive me of my sin. Be my Lord and my Savior now and forevermore. Amen. In Jesus' name. If you say that, I congratulate you. That is salvation. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Should you have any question or questions, please send it to me in the comment section of this video, of this video, and I'll be glad to respond to you. And should you like me to pray with you regarding anything, also let me know. I will reach out to you. Then we'll pray together, and God will take care of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Please share this video, like it. The Lord bless you and subscribe as well. I will see you in my next video by His grace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.